Six Metro Police launching an extensive training course for department leaders. Thanks for joining us this hour. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Birchelle Edme. Now the department hopes it will help reduce gun violence all across the city. Fox 59's Claire Curry spoke to the deputy chief and the community about this program. Our violence numbers are down, our non-fatal shootings and our homicide numbers are down, and that's what we want to continue to build on. IMPD Deputy Chief Tanya Terry feels the six-month policing leadership academy she just completed taught her to look at the numbers through a different lens than what she's used to. Are we solving the right problems? Um, how are we looking at our data? How are we using our data? And are we even looking at the right data to begin with? She feels these questions the University of Chicago Crime Lab gave her will allow her to utilize the city's criminal intelligence analysts within each district more often. And I think that we can expand on their role within our everyday uh, as far as helping us know where our cops need to be and when and for what reason. One anti-violence advocate we spoke to says the plans are good in theory, but it questions whether it will work. You're listening to some great ideas but it will not translate to improvement of what we're seeing in Indianapolis. Reverend David Green Sr. with Concerned Clergy believes resources need to be readily available and thinks IMPD should focus on mental health, improving the case solvability rate, and bridging the gap between police and the community. We've got to begin to address the core issues at a major level with major commitment to it. it and it also does require intentionality. Are we willing to do it. Reporting downtown, Claire Curry, Fox 59 News. Claire.